All right, so this uh, 1718 hobby has been uh, pretty tough find, uh, especially especially recently because of the emergence of Tage Thompson. Um, I haven't, yeah, I haven't opened up any of this yet. Although I did do some, uh, did do a personal break, and I found like an open box um, with some decent stuff in there. So. I, you know, I kind of, I did decide to go for that. Um, I've opened up some retail, a lot, lot of loose retail packs, some tins. Um, well, one tin, I still have two more in storage. Um, but obviously, you know, we're looking for Tage Thompson. Highly underrated product. Also looking for, you know, still missing McAvoy. That's good good one i i do have his canvas um but yeah i think overall this is a very very underrated product like this this is in terms of like modern era stuff this is this is pretty much in the doghouse for the long for a long time um it was like retail was eight about 80 you can get it for as low as 80 bucks a box it's probably like uh, might be able to get it for a hundred, but you're probably looking at 120 to 140 now. Um, but uh, yeah, hobby's always been expensive. Um, like it's gone for as much as 300. So now, so I got this for about 225. Yeah. So here's the little insert for um, 1718. Free. Gift with purchase, free shipping. Got some serious, uh, serious memorabilia here. There's my hockey card day, black diamond, first high end product of the season, and all that. So, all right. So let's uh, let's get into it. Base, base card, Zach Parise, stage in. All right, Centennial Standouts. Um, so this, yeah, this is the NHL's 100-year anniversary, and that's pretty much the name of the game for, um, there's Nylander, the uh, Tuke. Yeah, it's pretty much the name of the game for 1718. Um like celebrating the hundred year hundred year anniversary and all that, um, centennial standouts, um, from Marty Brodeur. Um, I'm not. Sh I, I know there's like there are photo variations of these. Um, apparently, this Pavel Bure is a is is a is a very is a photo variation, um, but. Not sure. I have no idea if this is if this is a photo variation. Um, so I'd have to look that up. I'd have to look that up later. Um, another interesting thing is one of the um, one of the chase one of the chase cards is also the series called the Second Six. So I don't. I didn't know what that actually meant for the longest time. Um, it basically is, I guess, the second wave of NHL teams because you have the original six, right? So, I that's kind of that's kind of what my understanding of it is. Um, and Dave Taylor, I mean, if you read the back, he's kind of a late, he's a late late round draft steal. Um, yeah, did he did very well for himself there. Um, all right, so enough of, enough, enough to chase cards, so, yeah, mm. sticking in the back there, all right, 
Shooting Shining Stars, Nick Ehlers. So, yeah, I've got, I think I'm getting a, I have quite a few of these. Um, of course, they're, they are done by position, like hobby and retail will have certain, certain like positions, whereas tins will have like diff different one. I'm not sure which ones they are. Um, let and Martinez. Yeah, these are opening up pretty, not pretty easily. Um, green to no blue Jenner. Okay, so we got a portraits of Sebastian Ajo, Zaka, Wierenski, Stahl. All right. Okay, got a Young Guns, Kerfoot, all right, not, that, that's a good one, um, always get, I always get him, uh, confused with New Hook, even, because they're, and they're, they, they started off on the Avs, obviously he's now with, uh, Toronto, that's a good, that is a good one. So, I mean, you get a pretty good chance of getting a decent name. Um, yeah, like no huge superstars. Um, that's kind of what why this 1718 was in the doghouse. So we got a canvas for Jonathan Quick. Um, that's not a that's not a winter classic tell by the banner up there yeah they real kings really screwed him over three thousand grandland all right so fortunately for me I found a pretty good Deal. So we got a shining, shining stars red of Pekka Rene. Um, all right, that's not bad. Get my first NHL first star honors. Nine forty nine in a month. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty insane. All right. Let's see what we got here. We got a centennial standouts. Duncan Keith. Um, right. Con Smythe. For the Blackhawks in 2015. More base. Another centennial standouts of uh, Bobby Hull. Um, yeah, that's, Carey Price, although this, his, the canvas, the canvas from 21-22 looks very, very, a little similar to this, to this, um, to this shot there. Okay. Brain point second year. We got Young Guns. All right, Victor Mete. All right. 
I think he's an NHLer, so that's that's good. Portraits of Jonathan Huberdeau. All right. It's a pretty good, um, pretty good concept I, for, for this portrait. It's like, after you collect these for a few years, you kind of, kind of get an appreciation for the, um, for the, um, kind of I the ideas that they have for portraits. Um, Sagan, Shining Stars. Yeah, so these used to be, these like Shining Stars used to be like four in a box, and then I guess they changed it to Shooting Star. In 1819, they changed it to Shooting Stars, where you only get one in a box. And then 2021, that's when they started doing the Dazzlers at one per box. I think that's how it went down. Wayne Simmons, Sam Forsberg, Kadri. We've got a canvas of Brad Marchand. Char in the background. Oh, we've got another Austin Matthews second year. That's always a uh, always a good thing. I think second years there. It's all, it seems to be always about rookies. I don't really necessarily agree with that. But it just seems to be how the hobby goes. Yeah, Jacob Forsbacher Carlson. All right. I have a feeling I'm not going to get uh, Tage. I'm not going to get Tage Thompson. I have seen that name before. Carlson and Mete before. Got another um, got another centennial standouts of a uh, sill apps. Yeah, some of these like hundred some of the some of this stuff gets you have to really know your hockey history. I heard it on a podcast that for 2021 the cup somebody pulled a clarence campbell 101 and it's like what team does he go for it's like i i i have i personally have no idea i would have no idea so i guess they ended up randoming it off so all right so nothing still looking for uh haven't gotten any clear cuts yet, so wouldn't mind getting one of those. Bullet MacArthur, and I'm probably not going to get one here because it's usually a clear cut or a jersey. We've got a jersey of Adam Henrique. There we go. Portraits. Tyler Sagan. Andrew Shaw. Apparently there's like limited variation, like numbered variations of portraits. I haven't pulled any of those yet in, a, in any set. 
That would be cool to get. Young Guns of John Hayden for Blackhawks. So, don't know about him. Canvas. Ryan Spooner. I see I keep seeing I keep seeing last names that are common with a lot of the Canadian women's team and I have to and I just it just gets me I just get curious is like okay are they related and all that um, what do we got here is Lindholm classic shooting shining stars of Jeff Carter So it's fairly, um, so, so far it's been a fairly average box. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a, I wouldn't mind getting a heat, a hisher. Uh, young Guns of Taylor Yamamoto. All right, it's a good name. Though I already have him. Tangelo, Brunt, Forward, Filpula. All right. Portraits of Artem Anisimov. Jason Garrison. So this is Vegas. I guess this is the first year for Vegas. I always found it, like with 21 22 is like, oh, Seattle cracking cards. And it's like, that seems to be the big hype. Probably the hype for uh, Vegas inaugural season stuff has died down a bit. It might be all gone altogether. So, Brad Marchand. So, I actually have this in a series two. Uh, Jumbo card. Series one checklist. Oh, we is that a? Oh, I thought that was a. Um, thought that was an exclusive for a minute. We got a centennial standouts. Mike Medano. Um, oh, twenty seat, twenty one seasons. All right, so Berg, Miller, VC. And Provera, Brody, Sedlak, got a canvas of Jimmy VC. Jake Allen, Bogosian, Reinhardt. All right, last pack. So I haven't got. Don't think. No, if I. I don't know if I got any big chase cards. I mean, I would. I'd have no idea if I did. Um, if if one of the Centennials were a photo variation, but oh, we got some sort of like some sort of die some sort of die cut there. All right, Jonathan Taves. Looks like a double hit pack. So we got Ian McCaution um, for the Florida Panthers. We got some base. So this looks like it might be a clear cut foundations. I mean, I'm just guessing because I remember the similar shape from. Uh, 1920 so so kind of fit in with the uh 1718 uh like century like 
NHL Centennial um, theme. Let's see what we got here. Okay, Phil Housley. Out of 100 clear-cut honored members. So Housley's induction into the Hockey Hall of Fame was long overdue. The native of Saint, South St. Saint Paul, Minnesota, ranks fourth among defensemen in career points. So that is, I think, a pretty nice end to this to this box. Um, didn't get didn't get Thompson in this box but you know that's okay just do a really quick recap Silaps, Carlson, Marchand, Sagan, Huberto, Victor Mete, Bobby Hall, Duncan Keith got this Rene Shining Stars Red, got this uh, Jonathan Quick, Alex Kerfoot, uh, Sebastian Ajo, Nick Ehlers and uh, Marty Brodeur This, be very careful. Got this Adam Henrique game jersey, Sagan, John Hayden, Ryan Spooner, Jeff Carter, Kyler Yamamoto, Arnon Misanoff. So, I guess maybe the biggest, the, the best one is Yamamoto. Got the, and lastly, got this um, Phil. Housley clear cut honored members. All right. So hmm, nice to actually open up a hobby box of this for a change. Um, yeah, hopefully I can get hopefully I can get some some of this at a better price. It's just so it's I don't know. I think it's really, really expensive even at even at 200 plus tax, um, which is what I effectively what I got it for. But I got it as a part of a package deal. I got some, I got a pair of 1819 series one as well. So, so I got a, I ended up getting a pretty good deal um, for that. So, yeah. So that is um, 1718 series one hobby. Thanks.